Hello, it's 10 o'clock. Welcome to the weather update. 10 o'clock on the 29th of October 2021, and uh, we got some heavy rain now moving into the area. Uh, as you see there, even a couple of flash flood warnings out there, but uh, you can see a little bit of heavy rain there moving over Nassau County. You can see that feed of heavy rain that is coming over. Here's another look at the radar again. Some really heavy rain. Uh, a couple of heavy downpours came in over Nassau County. Uh, they're moving north, but there's more rain to come. Uh, we have a wind advisory in effect uh, until 6 a.m. Saturday. So we have a wind advisory for east winds, uh, 20 to 30 miles an hour with gusts to 50 possible across the area as we deal with this storm. Uh, and uh, we're seeing power outages numbers increase a little bit on Long Island. We have 14,000. Uh, an 88 right now on Long Island, but it's a lot worse in New Jersey. JCPNL was actually up to 18,000 for a while. Now they're down to 16,000. Uh, but they have quite a few outages, some on the Jersey Shore uh, and uh, some further north along the Jersey Shore, like in Monmouth County there, Shrewsbury, probably wind damage uh, due to these high winds coming in. Uh, over the area and they've had some wind gusts up up over 50 miles an hour at the jersey shore there's also flooding going on in tom's river again uh flooding in downtown tom's river uh and uh that that just like yesterday we're seeing that flooding uh and uh it's, uh, it's gonna cause some problems as well um let's look at the observations we have currently out there and you can see some wind gusts up near 51 miles an hour there at the jersey shore this station seagirt has been reporting some pretty high winds uh here and if you look here uh, they had some wind gusts up over let's see uh yeah they've been gusting to 54 53 the past a couple of hours 55 mile an hour wind gusts uh so they've been getting some pretty strong winds and that's pushing the water on shore and leading to some some significant coastal flooding over there uh and there's roadways getting flooded some towns getting flooded uh tom's river we have wind gusts at seaside up to 44 miles an hour as well uh so and you can see the temperatures starting to rise there they're in the low 60s now uh over long island uh we've been in the 50s still in the 50s pretty much where we've been all day uh with these temperatures in the 50s um and the dew points are starting to rise we've had dew points in the 40s throughout much of the day but they're starting to rise starting to get into that humidity um you can see a wind gust up to 44 at jones beach as well uh so we're starting to see those winds gusts we're in the the next couple of hours are going to be the heart of this uh, storm it's going to be quick hitting llj but it's going to be significant uh here uh there's going to be some pretty strong winds with this llj and you can see the dew points up there are are going up into the 60s uh, upper 50s 60s as we get into more of that humid air let's take a look and see what we've got on some of these buoy observations here it's not a buoy but let's let's see this buoy here yeah, let's see this buoy here uh east wind at 36 gusting to 47 uh and we have an air temperature of 62 dew point 58 uh, waves are 11.2 feet so the waves are coming up you've seen this this east wind just pushes the water on shore uh, and that's what we're seeing pretty much we're seeing that easterly wind there push the water uh, right on shore and we also have flood advisories and flood and flood warnings coastal flood warnings in effect for again parts of new jersey uh let's see if we can get some information as to what's going on on the jersey shore um coastal flooding forces road cl uh, parkway uh closures at shore so let's see what they've got here uh and uh so where town is also issuing uh water traffic light at route 88 is out there's a power outage south toms river closes south main street due to flushing south Ma flooding uh south main street between center street and her boulevard in south toms river has been closed due to having flooding in the area uh south main street so that is going to affect some buses i believe uh, we have Long Beach Boulevard and LBI flooded and impassable. Uh, downtown Tom's River flooding. Exit 81 has been shut down. Uh, Barnegat Police closed Bayshore Drive. Berkeley Police clo closed Bayview Avenue. So we have a lot of uh, issues in New Jersey going on. Um, let's look at, our, at this storm on the satellite before we get back to the uh, flooding uh, issues. You can see here's your storm. You can see that moisture feed coming right out from the tropics right there draw it out for you right here here it is boom right there into our area bring it in all that moisture this is a low level jet east southeast llj event uh with those heavy rains and then and again when the rain comes down it could bring in some of those because it's convective it could bring down some of those strong winds 
Um, let's go to the News 12 Long Island website and see if there are any reports of flooding. Um, oh, my gosh. They're not even doing a good job covering the storm. Uh, they're not even doing a good job covering the storm. Seriously. I don't have any, they don't have any mentions of flooding on Long Island. Unless we haven't gotten any flooding, um, I would expect that we would actually have some flooding uh, on Long Island, but I don't really see anything. I don't really see anything, any flooding reports here uh, on any of the media, major media outlets for uh, about flooding on Long Island. Um, so it's that easterly winds, um, that those easterly winds are, are more of an issue for New Jersey. Uh, because they're coming in to New Jersey. So when you have the easterly, I think that's what's going on. You have that east-southeast flow. That's more of an issue maybe more for New Jersey uh, than it is for Long Island because it's going straight into the Jersey Shore. So maybe that has something to do with it. So uh, let's go to the models as we deal with uh, this storm here. And here's your storm right here. It's over the Great Lakes. Um, but you can see it's a big, large, cut off, uh, large, like almost cutoff flow type of situation. And then it's going to transfer energy to a coastal low that's going to develop east of Long Island tomorrow night. Uh, but fortunately, it's developed. It's a, not not as strong as the other coastal low we had, and it's going to develop more east. So I think we'll see a lot of the rain is going to hit Suffolk County. And then after that, we have the dry rare move in for Wednesday and Tuesday, and next week looks much much better. Uh, but we got to get through this storm first. So let's go look at the HRR um, and uh, look at the rain here. And you can see, again, there's that heavy rain that we're going to see. Uh, and once that arm of rain passes, the winds will relax as well. So it's related to this low-level jet associated with this rain. And then that moves away. Uh, and then we get a break, and then another area of rain with a secondary low. It seems to affect Suffolk County more than Nassau, so we may look out during the day tomorrow, and those showers may stay over Suffolk and Nassau. I may not see too much action. But then another wave of rain comes, and this could affect us in the evening. So it's Saturday is going to be probably kind of a wet day. Uh, showers on and off. Um, it won't be raining all the time, but it's going to be kind of a wet day. Here's your other low pressure center with the heaviest rain going out over the Cape. And then finally, it slowly pulls away by Sunday, uh, and we get into more of a westerly flow. Uh, though it could still be a scattered shower or two in the afternoon due to instability, according to the HRRR. Let's see how much rain the HRRR gives us. Uh, so it looks like a good inch of rain uh, for most of Long Island and probably New Jersey as well, and perhaps a little more as you head into coastal New England. Um, that's about right um, with that. Um, the other thing, of course, is the dew point. So we look at the dew point, and it'll tell us, kind of show us the low-level jet, which really shows up very nicely here. You can see it right here uh, with that southeasterly wind there, a strong south. And once that passes, though, tomorrow, we're not going to have too much more wind. Uh, so the wind event is mainly, that's why the wind, uh, high wind advisor is only till 6 a.m. Uh, and probably the winds will probably calm down even sooner before that. And as we get into Sunday, you see that wind shift to the west, and the drier air moves in. Um, and that's warm air, too. So, it's like I said, this is warm air that's coming in. So, the temperatures will be rising overnight. We'll probably get into the 60s tomorrow. Uh, and then for Sunday, probably low 60s. Probably be a little better. Um, but let's go look at uh, the wind forecast here. This is the other issue that we have with this LLJ. And you can see here it is. And you can see that LLJ. Most worst, the strongest winds are right along the water. Um, but, again, there could be some winds inland, too, wind gusts. Um, and then that moves. You can see it moves kind of. It's out of here by uh, so the worst of it's going to be over the next probably three or four hours. And then it starts calming down with the winds. Um, and, then it, and then we're done with that aspect of the storm. But we still have the rain threat throughout our day. Um, looking at the skies, we'll just go ahead and look briefly at the sky forecast. I'm just going to use the RGM. Uh, obviously, tomorrow we'll have plenty of clouds around. Maybe a little break of sun in the morning before that next wave of rain comes in for the evening. And then it's a wet Saturday, uh, and Sunday should be a lot better. Partly sunny and much better. Uh, but the the nice weather will wait. Monday, should, we should have a nice, mostly sunny day. And we'll have seasonable temperatures uh, that day. Probably in the... Uh, we'll use the GFS for this. Probably in the upper 50s to low 60s. I'm not going to go much beyond that because we got to get through the storm first. Um, let me look at a few other parameters. We'll go to the Ventus sky here. Um, 
And again, you can see, uh, we look at the, we'll look at the wind gusts, and we'll show you again these strong wind gusts that are coming in. Um, and this is, uh, we're going to move this forward into tomorrow, Saturday. And you can see here midnight, we're still dealing with it. We're still dealing with it at 1 a.m. here. Um, but then as we get to 2 a.m., it starts quieting down a little bit, 3 a.m., 4 a.m. So the next three hours, we'll be dealing with the winds, and then it'll just be the east end of Long Island dealing with the winds by 4 or 5 in the morning, and then we should be done. But it's mainly this coastal flooding threat that we are uh, dealing with with these uh, with the storm surge here, with the waves uh, from this. And you can see here, uh, this is definitely kicking up the surf and causing that coastal flooding to occur. Uh, I don't see anything from NJ Transit uh, regarding bus detours. Uh, they only have a word. The only thing they have about Times River is a bus that had broken down um, on the 319 uh, in Times River on the, in route to Atlantic City. Uh, but I don't see anything about uh, about the the flooding here. Um, we can try Ocean County Scanner News and see. Sometimes there's a Sometimes they have, okay, here we go. Many sections of Monmouth are dealing with flooding. So here we go. This is Tom's River. Look at this. Uh, this is right around the bus terminal. Look at this. It's all underwater. It's all flooded. Uh, that's incredible. That is incredible here. So Jersey Shore Online they have some, some information on this too. So we definitely have some flooding going on in Tom's River. It seems like they're getting it hard. I can't seem to find anything about Long Island right now as far as flooding goes. Um, um, I could just put Long Island, but I don't think we're, 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 I think we're avoiding it. I think it's mainly New Jersey that's dealing with it because I don't really see any, any information or reports of flooding on Long Island. Um, but if there is, then, uh, just whatever the reason is, it's not getting reported. Um, uh, uh, there is very well, there could be, uh, some flooding on Long Island. It's kind of interesting that they're getting flooding in New Jersey, but not Long Island. I, I don't quite understand that. Um, I just think it's not getting reported. That's all. I think that once again, the local media is not doing a good job uh, telling us what's going on, particularly News 12. Um, I don't know what's going on with News 12. Now, it is the anniversary of Superstorm Sandy, which is kind of kind of interesting. But again, I don't see any reports of flooding on Long Island. There may very well be flooding. Um, but again, there's no there's no information. So I, I you know, I could put Long Beach patch. Uh, you know, Long Beach is one of the areas that would have flooding. Uh, and there aren't, there's no report, there's no reports of any flooding going on here. So I guess this is just affecting New Jersey more than it is affecting Long Island. If it is affecting Long Island, well, I'll try to find out about it. But again, uh, the low, if it is, the local media is out to lunch on this. Uh, so I don't think it is because if we look at News 12 New Jersey, let's go look at News 12 New Jersey. And I'll wrap this up here. Uh, let's see. News 12 New Jersey is uh covering some of it yes they're in tom's river so yeah um they are in tom's river right now so uh oh, yours is staying on your head yeah, so they are in tom's river and they're showing some of the flooding river, going really on there uh so uh there is flooding going on i guess it's just long it's long island for whatever reason isn't dealing with it yet uh let's just take one more look at the power outage situation we have 1686 customers right now on Long Island out power most of these outages they're just scattered around there's not really any one particular area that seems to be getting hit harder than any other uh, well if it, it, if anything it seems like it's Nassau County and Western Suffolk um, that's dealing with some power outages and again due to these high winds uh, that's that's what we're gonna see we're gonna see some of these power outages occur obviously JCPNL having it worse they're having more power outages again uh, probably they're getting stronger winds I think there and the uh, uh, it could be any number of factors, uh, but there is significant flooding going on in the on, in the Jersey Shore area, in downtown Tom's River. Uh, it's just one of the towns being affected. I'm sure that there are other towns being affected as well, and I wish I could show you more, but uh, again, it's not really getting reported a whole lot. Uh, so I guess that's going to wrap up this video here again. Uh, it's going to be a rough couple of three next three to five hours, uh, and then things should calm down. Uh, but still, the rain chances will linger into tomorrow uh, as we deal with uh, this slow-moving upper-low system uh, that is taking its sweet time uh, to getting through the area. So that's going to wrap up this weather update. Thanks for watching.